But we've already seen some locations pick up over 10 inches of rain in South Texas, including in Victoria, where our own Jason Allen is standing by. Jason, I know you, you guys braved the storm last night and overnight. What is the latest this morning? So, Jeff, we could hear it kind of come in in the overnight hours. Uh, the, the, the hotel that we were in, you could feel it moving in the upper floors. And you could hear glass breaking, and you could hear metal falling, and you could hear the rain coming. And this is probably the worst that we've seen now. We'll go out just so you can get a sense of the wind that's been coming in. We're in a shopping center on, on 87. So the wind and the rain kind of pounding in. It makes it hard enough to stand. Jake right now who's holding the camera, has his feet staggered just so he can stand up. As far as damage, and I want you to see power is out all over the area, of course. You can see this light pole that's down. We're gonna spin around. It's okay to walk here for a second. We've got a little bit of a building protecting us. It's metal flashing, it's signs, it's roofing. We have not seen any large structural damage at least here in Victoria. Let's see if we can go out here a little bit further, Jake. Here's a big, huge gust. I'm gonna hang, 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 hang. Right here, I don't wanna get out in that. So these are the strongest winds that we've seen. And again, no major structural damage that we've seen here, but it is some of those signs, light poles, um, power lines, or a lot of power lines down. Now the concern as uh, the hours go on throughout the day today, and, and Jake, if we can go down, down into your left, and just kind of look at some of that drainage. Here's where the concern is going to build. I know we've been talking about this over the last day or two, is this storm just sort of sits here and spins and dumps rain on us. They're expecting the, the water to start piling up here. Now, in this part of the city, it's not as bad. As you go down the road, and we can turn back around. Jake, I'm behind you now. We turn back around this way. You go down that way and out toward the river, the Guadalupe River, there are some low-lying sections of town. They already had pumps out in that area last night that we saw, and that was before any ex extremely heavy rain started to fall. So as that builds up, that's gonna become more of a problem. Also, the roads out to the coast, they were expecting those to completely flood over. I know that they had storm surge uh, out in Port Lavaca and some of those cities there on the coast, and they were expecting to be cut off for a while. But here in Victoria right now, we are definitely feeling the worst of the eye as it kind of spins uh, just, I think maybe about 20 miles or so, maybe 20 to 25 miles away from us or what's left of the eye. Winds are coming in. Um, we can see a lot of roof damage, a lot of power line damage. Thankfully, no major structural damage we're aware of or that we've seen yet, although some of these areas that are uh, less well built on the outside part of town, uh, with these kind of winds, there probably is some sort of structural damage there, and uh, we'll continue to look and, and keep an eye on that.